Okay, so it's not like I don't ever use IRs or impulses. I just don't use them as much as I used to. You see, when I went about creating my preset packs for the Helix, I couldn't just throw in some other company's IR. I mean, it's sort of stealing, it's kind of illegal. And I currently don't have the resources to shoot or capture my own impulses, at least good sounding ones. So because of that, I put more time and effort into researching and exploring what the stock cabs could do for me, like truly putting time and effort into it. And that led to me creating all of the cool presets that you guys get in preset pack one and two. Okay, blah, blah, blah. That does not mean I don't still dip my toes into impulses. I still semi-regularly use impulses, use IRs. To that point, in my opinion, I still feel own hammer makes some of the best out there. That's just my opinion. I do get a little tired, feeling like I need to preface that anytime I share my personal opinion, but these are the times we live in. So when I was approached by the guys over at Drums and Tones with their new Mendel preset pack, volume one, I sort of sat on the email for a while. I got to thinking, just what I don't need is another pack of impulses. I have already more than I could possibly go through, and also, I'm definitely entrenched and I've solidified myself in the camp of being creative, of writing, of recording, of putting out content, and not getting stuck in these details, in the minutia, and all the things that prevent us and distract us from making music. We go on and on about it here and on Bandless. I don't want to dive into more impulses. But I read the email, finally, after a couple weeks, and I see that they're approaching things a little bit differently. And that's why I'm making this video because I spent a little time with them and I like what they're doing. Okay, so the Mendel IR Pack Volume 1. Mendel is a guitar player, YouTuber, mix and master engineer, and he's the former guitar player of the band Aborted. This is his IR Pack. He worked with the guys at Drums and Tones and they created this IR Pack. Now the cool things about this IR Pack is that there's only 23 IRs to choose from. It's tight, compact, concise. And I've gone through all of them, and they're pretty amazing sounding. They're all super, super mix ready, and you can get a variety of different tones from modern stuff to more thrashy stuff to that 90s scoop sound and beyond. The other cool thing is that they're not named. You don't know what cab, what mic, what speaker combination. You're just, and I know this sounds silly, listening with your ears. You're not distracted by names. You're not distracted by cabs and mics and preamps and all that stuff. Now, I'm not saying having those options available to you is a negative. What I am saying is this definitely helps with that analysis paralysis that we've gone on to talk about in other videos I've done about impulses and being overwhelmed by them. This is great. You only have 23. You don't know what the heck they are. All you need to worry about is if they sound good with your particular amp settings and in your mix. They're about as mix ready as possible. So to demonstrate that, I recorded a few riffs. It's kind of fun stuff. I, I don't know, black metal, death metal, whatever you want to call it. Nonetheless, put some riffs together using one of these IRs to give you guys a demonstration of how they sound in a mix. I did not put any post-processing EQ or anything on the guitar tracks. And the only thing on the master bus is some compression to bring it all together and a limiter. That's it. So why don't we give it a listen and we will regroup after that. If you're into guitars, riffs, mixing, and everything in between, hit subscribe and follow along.
Yay, riffs, yes, riffs, cool. Why don't we turn around and let's play around with these IRs and I'll show you why I dig this particular pack. Let's dive in. We're here at the computer and like I was saying, the Mendel pack has 23 IRs, 23 impulses, and they're just numbered. Cab one, cab two, cab three, dot, 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 cab 22, cab 23. So you're less likely to just choose one for some arbitrary reason, like the cab or the mic. Yes, like I mentioned before, that stuff is useful. I'm not saying it's not. But for those of you wanting to get into impulses and not suffer the dreaded analysis paralysis, like I said before, this is a good way to dive in. You're just listening. So let's start at cab one, okay? I have somewhat of a basic setup here. Guitar input, I have a Scream 808, and we're going into the Line 6 Badunk, all right? Let's just cycle through these. So we'll go to cab two. See already, a different sound, but it sounds good. Articulate, a little more upper mids. Let's go to three. More chime. It's more subtle on the, the bottom end. Four. It's like a subtle difference. Maybe a roll off. More of a modern sound. Six. Seven. Uh, on a lot of these IRs, the tight, the, the low end is super tight. So you have some articulation, you still have some balls or oomph, but it's, it's tight and articulate. How many times can I say the same thing the same way? Everything is more um, serious and meaningful when you have like hand gestures. Eight. 
eight. Nine. We're not going to go through all of them. We'll go back up to ten. Eleven. Let's see which one I ended up going with. So for the demo, I ended up with cab 15. Love that. Garbage. The point I'm trying to make is you're just left finding the sound you want with your ears. And I've said it like five times in this video already. And I think th that's why I, I wanted to make this video is because it's a different approach. Um, you're not distracted with names. You're not distracted with cabs. You're not distracted with microphones. And you're not overwhelmed with options. You have 23 to choose from. We went through about 13 of them. Mix ready, top notch sounds. And I think whatever they did, they focused in on what sounded good and they went with it. And they're providing you with some great sounding options that won't distract you from what you're supposed to be doing. Like we talk about here and on Bandless, like I said before, making music, okay? Again, I love Ownhammer. They are my favorite impulse company. I've used them for years, since as long as I've owned the Helix, I've used Ownhammer, and I love those guys. But this is a cool approach. I really dig this approach. I know Ownhammer went about it sort of this way with their workhorse pack, where there's fewer options that all sound good. This is a different company taking a different approach. There's no names, there's nothing. We've gone over it. I think this Mendel IR pack is definitely worth checking out. And I don't think it's that much. Uh, the la I could, I could probably look it up. Let me, let me look up how much it costs. Okay, relax. These guys, like you, you do, like, so you like, you see, the euros. Oh, that is. All right, I looked it up. It's twenty-three bucks. Twenty-three bucks for twenty-three IRs. I don't know, man. You guys take a look. They do have a free pack available on their webpage that includes uh, some one shots of snares and kicks and some IRs included. So if you don't want to spend any money before diving in, you can see what they have to offer. But I think at 23 bucks, this is a, a, a good investment to, to kind of get your feet wet. If you're not into the world of impulses and if you've been thinking about it, um, and, you know, it can be a wormhole. We've discussed it. It can be a, a wormhole and a time suck. But this is a good way to go about it. I like their approach. I'm glad they sent them to me. They did send them to me. Okay? They didn't pay me for this video. They just sent it to me. Another thing that we have to preface. Give me a break, man. I tried it after two weeks of not wanting to try it. And they're great. They're pretty great. I like what they're doing. Give them a shot. Or don't. I don't care. Makes no difference to me. Love you. All relating information and links can be found in the description down below. And if you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and stay up to date. It's safe to say that this is a little long-winded. So I appreciate your patience and you guys hanging in there until the end. Thank you so much for being here. I miss you guys. Sorry about the little bit of a lapse in videos. We were doing 
videos every week for quite a while, pretty much since last summer. But as things start ramping up with work, I actually had to go on some video shoots and that sort of put me behind. It's my own fault, I didn't prepare. But we're rolling, we're back at it, and I appreciate you guys being here and hanging in there. Special shout out to those of you supporting me over on Patreon and of course here as members on YouTube. If you're looking for other ways to support me, the channel, and what I'm doing, I of course have music for sale on Bandcamp and streaming everywhere music is streamed. Another huge virtual hug for all of you guys for supporting me and my best bud, Steven Barton, for the Wells Project. You guys have given us lots of positive feedback. A lot of you guys have purchased the Wells stuff on Bandcamp and you've been streaming it and we've just been kind of showered with a lot of kind words and admiration for how the songs turned out. And for that, I thank you, I really do. I'm super proud of these songs. Steven really brought them to life and I can't wait to make more music under the Wells name. So thank you guys so much for supporting me and Steven with Wells. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I release new music under the name Wells with my buddy Steven Barton on vocals. It's sort of a modern, sludgy, fuzzy, it's got some groove, it's pretty cool. Check it out, it's right here. Links of course will be in the description for everything we talked about today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Be useful to someone and we'll see you in the next one.